Hello everyone, so today I'm doing the starter on a Lancer Rally Art and it is the same engine for the Lancer Evolution X um, so I'm basically changing the starter the starter it's just right here in front of the engine the radiator is here with the fan um, to look at it better the oil filter is right here and in between it used to have this brace kind of brace for the intake manifold it was like this I removed it along with the ground wire for the transmission and uh, your starter is located here so there's two 14 millimeters bolts I removed one so far and this is the replacement starter just to show you so there's one bolt here and another bolt here they're both um, like this and so this goes into your transmission and there's a bolt that goes through holding it and then we will have some wires one wire here for the um, positive and then another here for the probably the ground so just to show you guys that it's very possible from under the car which is better than going from uh, above uh, above you'll have to remove the manifold and all the fuel lines and everything but from below it seems like it's possible it's just you have you don't have too much leverage so I'm using a um, 3 8 ratchet right here and you have to feel the bolts after you remove the 14 the two 14 millimeters use a hammer to hit on the starter and hopefully it'll get loose and after that we can remove the positive wire and the connections attached to it so just to show you guys uh, very quickly um, like I had my ratchet right here right here and then all I do is because of it, I don't have even the leverage I use all my I use my weight and then you move like this sorry for the ankle that's how I did it I'm loosening the last 14 millimeter like this I used all my body weight to move the torque it's not so bad because it's a 14 millimeter unlike the Hondas or Acuras it's a 17 all right so all right so we got the last 14 millimeter bolt both are the same they don't seem too corroded so that's a good sign not much rust that's why I was easily uh, able to remove both bolts with my body weight and hopefully the starter will come loose easily oh it is coming loose very easy good that's a good sign it's a very good sign so at this point I got the starter loosened so I just need to figure out the positive connection on the bolt here and remove this connection right here so it's only two connection attached to it pretty easy just gonna figure out the nuts I'll tell you guys soon okay so wow I'm very very surprised right here and um, just took out the OEM starter and I compared it I see why the, the client's car didn't start Ouch. you see this ground wire right here it's, it's been corroded and it's broken off so that's why he couldn't start the car so if you guys change your starter make sure this wire here the ground wire is not corroded or disconnected this could be a very easy free fix instead of changing the starter but the client already ordered this brand new starter so I'll just install it probably it won't be as good as the OEM one because this one is really by Mitsubishi and this one is you know probably from China even though I'm Chinese myself I doubt the quality is as good as the Mitsubishi one which is really from Japan you know so make sure you check this ground wire here but that's very unfortunate unfortunate and you might need to weld, weld not weld but solder a new wire to just to bridge these two see it's so corroded this one here is so corroded so yeah just make sure this connection is okay for it on your car before changing the starter and uh, the bolt I ended changing was a 12 millimeter on the original one 
this seems to be slightly bigger I think so the process is just the reverse you put it back you clip back the ground wire you clip uh, you put back the um, positive 12 volt it was a 13 millimeter and now I'm gonna put back the two 14 millimeters. Oh, you came and tucked your way into my heart.